Hey everyone, Ken here with Ken's Creations and Chalk Couture. Today I'm excited because I get to show you how I achieve my ombre look with all of our products. You'll need at least two colors, but you can go up to as many as you like. For this project, you'll need the 12 and a half by 18 and a half Grayson board. The dreams don't work unless you do sea size transfer. Bright white, cherry blossom, peony, and couture coral chalkology paste to achieve our ombre. For tools, we'll use our fuzzing cloth, four inch squeegee, multi-tool, and we'll need four small squeegees and four mini squeegees. You'll also need some water to achieve the ombre look and to blend the colors. Let's start by fuzzing our transfer. Now this transfer has already been used, but if it was a brand new transfer, you would want to fuzz it at least five times to achieve the best results and to ensure your transfer doesn't curl when you remove it. I like to use a four inch squeegee along the entire transfer. Make sure there's no bubbles, no ripples, nothing. You'll actually feel with your hand if there is a bubble or a ripple or anything obstructing your silk screen. This is extremely important because everywhere you see black is where our paste will go through. The teal spots are going to be blocked. Now I open all of my paste and have the lids ready to go because we are going to move fairly quickly when doing this. Grab your small squeegees and start with the bright white on the top fourth of the board. We'll go on to cherry blossom and you'll notice I'm putting it on pretty thick. I don't like to see the image underneath my paste. That means we have a good coating on there and it won't dry as we work. You'll also note that I leave a little bit of space in between each color. So in between the white, cherry blossom, peony, and couture coral, there's a tiny little space. Now we're gonna remove that paste and put it back into the jar. Now normally I like to try to get off as much paste as possible because it is the best results, but in this case we're gonna move a little fast, so remove it pretty quickly and move on to the blending stage, which is just dipping your finger in water and blending those colors together. So blend them, blend, 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 and then grab your mini squeegees and remove the excess of your blends and put it onto a baby wipe. Once you are done, let's see that reveal. Look at that ombre effect. That looks so amazing. Now you can achieve this with as little as two colors and they can be opposite from each other. So they don't even have to be a gradual blend. We're gonna set it with the cool setting on a hair dryer. But look at this project. I love ombre, so easy, but the results are dynamic. 